Hello ladies and gentlemen, today in front of you we have a couple actual models from Ralph Christian. They're a brand based in the United Kingdom and I reviewed, a, I reviewed actually a few of their pieces in the past and they're kind of, you know, that luxury look and feel, you know, for a decent price and they watched are actually pretty decent quality. Um, so I got this new series to review, this is the Entourage series, I think this one looks pretty cool, pretty interesting, pretty technical as well. And the quality is actually really, really good. I was quite surprised. Nice blue colors on this model. I also do have a rose gold model, as he said. That was the most popular selling version. But as you can see, there is the brand Ralph Christian on the dial. The packaging is a pretty simple cardboard box. Comes with your warranty card as well. We'll throw up a picture on the screen so you can check it out. But yeah, um, they mainly produce, um, you know, kind of heavy duty. Not heavy duty, but tough, you know kind of luxury looking, uh, luxury feeling watches, you know, for a pretty affordable price. So um, the quality is always good. Um, this one is a quartz model, it's a quartz chronograph model, as you probably have noticed already. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring the rose gold version on. Oops, and there she is. So here are two versions. This is the rose gold version, as you can see. We have an all stainless steel blue model. Uh, these watches are uh, 45 millimeters in terms of actual diameter here. Um, you know, so if you have a super small wrist, maybe you can go for something a little smaller. Um, for my wrist, my wrist is about 6.8 inches. It fits just fine, has a nice look to it, nice sturdy feel, feels like something substantial on the wrist, which I do uh, like. Um, yeah, I actually prefer the blue model over the rose gold model. I really like how they did the brush bezels and then you get polished blue on the sides, which is really cool. On this one, you get the black brush bezel, and then you get polished black on the sides. As you can see, the rose gold model is pretty pretty nice, actually. Uh, the finishing is very good. As you can see, the lugs come down right here. They're integrated bands, uh, but no worries. The bands are actually really comfortable. No need to swap it out or anything of that nature. Um, we also do get signed crowns on here. If you're talking about thickness of this model, we are looking at, I believe, the total thickness, including the crystal, is about 14 millimeters, which I got on my calipers, which is really not that bad. She's looking at 45 millimeters by 14 millimeters thick. And uh, yeah, um, we get pull and push crowns, 50 meters of water resistance. They're definitely not something to take in the water. Um, let's get a little closer on these multi-layered dials here. As you can see, they're pretty interesting. We also do get a date window. We get numerals 12 and six. We get Ralph Christian printed in white, as you can see there. Uh, pretty neatly, no errors, nice broad hands, a ticking seconds hand as you can see there. And the markers kind of hover over, uh, attached to the chapter ring, which is really nice. And there, are, there actually are screws on the bezel, if you take a look at that. So that's pretty cool. And the screws on this one obviously are in rose gold. Signed crowns on both models with the Ralph Christian logo on these pull and push crowns. And uh, just has the logo there. Definitely very grippable crowns, nice size as well. Goes along with the whole 45 millimeter case, very easy to grasp, no issues there. They're pull and push, 50 meters. So definitely don't take these in the water, guys. Uh, you know, if you're washing your hands or you're caught in the rain, you should not have an issue. Now the crystals are sapphire coated crystals, so you get a layer of sapphire on top of mineral. Um, you know, which is fine, they're tough. They're gonna do their job. I think for the price, um, it's just fine. Uh, but as you can see, the bands are, uh, you get these rubber bands with this square pattern on them. And then they come down to a nice custom Ralph Christian buckle here. You get the stainless steel polished buckle, then you get the rose gold buckle on this one with two safety keepers on each model. Now, um, some other stuff about this watch. It is running a quartz chronograph Japanese movement. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the band here. And uh, let's get a little closer on this dial here. Now this dial does have a lot going on, but it's really easy to use. You have your date window over here at the four o'clock position. You have your 24-hour subdial at the 12 o'clock position right here for a 24-hour time. Then you have your chronograph pushers over here, which are kind of nice, actually in a bluish or black color. I believe that's black. I am a little colorblind, but <laughs> go ahead and start that. Nice actuation. As you can see, this is going to start ticking around 60 seconds. Then you get 30 minutes countdown. So you can time up to 30 minutes, uh, which is nice. You can stop that. As you can see, that'll stop. Push the bottom and it'll go right back. It actually functions this model very easy, guys. Very easy. One position. Oops. One position. Very nice knurling on this crown. Very easy to grip. You're going to get a quick set date. Change your date. Final position. The seconds hand will halt and you can precisely set the time. Now, these are quartz models. They are running a battery, about a two year battery life. Um, so, you're going to have the great accuracy. You know, obviously, better accuracy than an automatic watch which is always a good thing. 
know, pick it up in the morning and you're ready to go. No need to set the time or anything. Um, but yeah, I haven't taken a look at the case back yet. Yeah, there's the case back. Screw down case back. Nice little design there with the Ralph Christian logo. QC passed. Does stay professional, water resistant. As you can see, those are the integrated bands there with a smaller uh, spring bar. But yeah, the finishing is actually really good. Brushed all on the sides. A little layer of polishing going over here. Then you get the polishing that comes over here as well on this top portion and the side of that blue bezel, which looks really nice. It's kind of a darker blue than the band. It's a little bit darker than the band, I'd say, uh, that blue on there. But yeah, there also is a lot of loom on these watches. I was actually quite surprised. I believe on their other model, there wasn't as much loom, uh, but these models have loom on the hands and the numerals as well. And it's actually pretty decent. It glows green. I believe it's some type of super luminova. Um, so yeah, I wanted to check the loom out to show you guys because it's a, you know, it's kind of a sporty watch. You're going to want loom. You're going to probably use this watch going out at night and such. So uh, let me get you a loom shot show you how it looks at night. And I did loom it up for about 10 seconds. As you can see, we get loom on all the hour markers, actually, on the tip of that sweeping seconds hand and on the chronograph sub seconds and the 12 and the 6. So actually a lot of loom on this watch. As you can see, it doesn't fade quickly. It's actually pretty decent if you take a look. So yeah, nice job on the loom. Now planted on my 6.5 inch wrist, the band is straight broken in straight out of the box. No need to worry about that. It actually fits just across my wrist, which is nice. The lugs kind of come downwards, as you can see there. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a very luxurious feel and look to it, uh, which I do appreciate. I think the blue is absolutely stunning uh, with that blue coated bezel as well. Um, yeah, and the, I guess there is anti-reflective coat, I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, it is very legible, even when the light's directly on it. Uh, which is always good. And by the way, these are silicone straps, they're not genuine rubber. Um, they're definitely really comfortable, so I have no issue with that whatsoever. Um, but yeah, it definitely fits very nice on the wrist. That's my 6.5, 6.8 inch wrist, depending if it swells in the summer. I'm going to go ahead and show you the rose gold one now. There's the rose gold model planted on my wrist, and yeah, it definitely looks a bit more luxurious. Um, you know, with the rose gold and the black kind of has that luxurious kind of, you know, millionaire look, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, definitely very legible, even though the dial is multi-layered and has a lot going on. It's definitely very legible, as you can see with that nice 12 and 6 and those white hands. I'm glad they made the hands full white. It really makes it very legible above this dial. It has a, you know, it's kind of interesting, the style. I didn't even notice. It's actually a little, like, it's kind of pebbled, as you can see there, under, you know, under the sub-dials, which actually is really cool. I didn't even notice that. Um, but yeah. Very comfortable on the wrist, same exact watch, just different color. There also is another color model as well, if you check on the website, which I will link down in the description below after this video. But anyway, you know, for the price, I believe they're like 200, like 20 bucks or something like that. There's always a discount code on the website also if you sign up for their email. I think it's a, a pretty decent watch. The quality is good. The finishing is actually really good. I was really surprised. Nice buttons, they actuate very nicely. They kind of keep stealth kind of into the case, tucked in, which I really do like. Um, but yeah, good band, decent band, decent finishing. You're getting a reliable Japanese quartz chronograph movement. A very useful watch, definitely in a dressy situation as well as a casual situation. But yeah, all, all in all, I don't have any quality control issues. Um, the blue one is actually really, really nice as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one I would prefer. Probably long term, the blue. Uh, that's just me though. I like those red accents, that red sweeping second hand, and that blue one really pops. Really, really pops. But yeah, I didn't have any quality control issues. Everything was quick. The shipping was really quick. I actually shipped from, I believe it shipped from Florida, I'm not, if I don't remember. Uh, they must have a hub here or something like that. But uh, yeah, shipping was quick. Always good contact uh, with the owner of the company, and everything is on par, no issues whatsoever. If you're looking for a watch, you know, a little different, something a bit more luxurious looking, with a, you know, good everyday wear, you know, just pick it up and go, it's a quartz chronograph, this might be for you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Fuse with the new Ralph Christian Entourage series. Um, yeah, just a really cool watch. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely share the video with your friends, like the video, let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.